Hey guys, Jimmy here. Wanted to make this video about this Harbor Freight safe. If you're watching this video, you may or may not know that you can break into them fairly easy. Um, and I'm gonna show you why I, well, I'll tell you why I purchased the safe and how to fix those issues really quickly. I have this one on top of a gun cabinet. No safe is super secure. I know it's just a cabinet. You can pry it open. You can pry open a lot of things and get in them. Um, I could cut just about any safe open with a cutting wheel um, and just get in it. I'm not gonna give anybody ideas, but I'm gonna tell you what the faults are of this safe and how to fix them without too much rambling. So I watched a video, a guy was basically doing safe reviews. Um, I think it's like lockpick lawyer, sorry if I butchered that. But basically what he was showing is that you can press these LEDs out with a coat hanger, stick it in and basically press down the lock mechanism. You're bypassing this lock, allowing you to open it. That's true, you can do that. He also showed that you could go to the pre-drilled holes on the back, the mounting holes, stick a coat hanger in and press the button to reset and put in your own code that would make you able to open it. So in order to remedy that, I'm gonna make a, you know, about 30, 45 second explanation of what I did. So what I did was I bought some quick steel from the, um, you know, you can buy it from the auto parts store, Walmart, whatever. Bought some quick steel. I took that quick steel and I took this plate off. It's got two screws and then you unplug it. It's just the little battery plate. Really easy, so don't freak out, nothing tedious. I just unplugged it right here, set it to the side. All right, so in here's your little lock mechanism that I was telling you guys about that you can, you know, you can press it down pretty easy with a coat hanger, see, from out here. I don't know, I guess it's because it's cheap and why they did this, but what I did was there's a hole here where this goes to the face plate, um, you know, to the keypad, and I just stuck the putty around here. If the putty's sticking, just wet your fingers, um, if it's sticking to your finger, and I just stuck it around the hole. Right, and then I've done the same thing up with the LEDs without getting it on the contacts. I just stuck it behind the LEDs, and then I built a little wall here that's going to prevent people from sticking a coat hanger in right at this angle and pressing this down. All right, so it'll definitely prevent it. You know, no safe is perfect, and I know that you're like I said, you're buying time with a safe, no safe is impenetrable. But this one's actually pretty good, and I was going to replace it with another Sentry safe for about 200 250 bucks. I like the keypad because you don't have to fold with the combination and then you miss it and you're turning it again to reset it. So I, you know, I'm lazy, so I got the keypad. I know they're not as protective, but that being said, you got to balance, you know, what you're protecting and the cost of, you know, what it is that's protecting it, I guess. Like the cost of your safe and the cost of the contents. And in my case, I'm not protecting anything too valuable. Um, maybe a little bit of money and just, you know, some documents. So that being said, what I did was just stick the putty and, you know, Flatten it. The stuff will get really hard. I've used it a lot of you know through my automotive career automotive repair career to fix You know mufflers or whatever it gets super hard You can drill it and actually tap it put threads in it and screw a bolt into it I mean it's that strong and within about an hour. It's gonna be fully set um, in 15 minutes I think to harden to steel like consistency um, But it's actually getting pretty hard and I just put it on there. So anyways, that's what I did guys. I just ran this around where those holes would be, where it goes to the faceplate, and then built my little wall here. Now yeah, you could drive out the lock cylinder and still press it down with a coat hanger, but it is what it is, you know. I'm fully confident with this modification. This safe will keep someone out for 30, 45 minutes. Yeah, you could pry it open, but you can pry open a lot of safes, especially the sentries um, with those bolts, because they're not super strong. Um, well, it's not the bolts, it's basically the door that bends and allows the bolts to slip by. But that being said, I don't know why anyone would buy one of these and not bolt it down. So um, with this bolted to my gun cabinet, all right, bolted to the wall and bolted, you know, I'm gonna bolt the safe to the wall, bolt it to my gun cabinet and bolt the gun cabinet to the wall on, on some studs with lag bolts. It's gonna be very hard for you to get that loose. And if someone does pry it off the wall and rip it off the wall, they still have to carry both of these objects. So that's the cool thing about the bolts on the inside. Um, they're already drilled. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take um, a drill and drill down through the, the pre-drilled holes into this cabinet, put some good bolts on it. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching the video. If you guys have any questions, comment, please share them and stay COVID free. And yeah, have a great day.